Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today I am very excited to present to you a first look at the new Zanman Book Test Series 2 by Josh Zanman. Today we're going to be taking a look at all four books from Series 2. Now the really cool thing about this is all four books have been released together at the same time, so you can actually buy this entire set right now. All four books are also designed to work together, and they are some of my favorite and probably some of the most popular titles. So most people are gonna be familiar with these books. So today we're gonna be talking about Peter Pan, The Jungle Book, Alice in Wonderland, and The Call of the Wild. Now The Call of the Wild is actually a bonus book, so we're gonna set this one aside for just a moment and we're gonna talk about the three main books in the series. First of all, I wanted to show you guys the artwork on these. This is just phenomenal. It looks absolutely gorgeous, front and back. And the books, like I said, the books are just incredible. Look at how beautiful that looks. Jungle Book and Peter Pan. Now, I'm calling this a first look. I hesitate to call it a review because uh, for those of you who do not know, Josh Zanman is a really good friend of mine and actually reached out to me and asked if I would be happy to do the tutorials for these books. So if you guys like my teaching style, awesome. You'll get my tutorial videos along with the PDF version of the tutorials so you guys can kind of reference them and, and all that good stuff. The tutorials will be filmed just like this. Crisp audio, really easy to follow, all of that good stuff. Now let's go ahead and move on to the actual books. Like I said, I'm gonna set Call of the Wild aside. Uh, let's talk about the three main books of the series. Now all three of these books are going to use the original Zanman book test method. For those of you not familiar, essentially it's a way for you to be able to have the spectator look at the first word on any chosen page and you can instantly tell them exactly which word they are thinking of. There's no forcing, no fishing, no guessing. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You just have them peek at a word and you can instantly tell them exactly which word they are thinking of. So in performance, it would look something just like this. You just riffle through the pages, they say stop, you have them look at the first word on the page, and then right away, you know exactly which word it is that they are thinking of. It is literally that clean. Now again, I have to emphasize, you are not forcing a page, it is a completely free choice. You riffle through the pages, they can say stop, you can say are you happy here, they can say no, and you can keep going, and it works just the same. The method is also very cleverly disguised, so you can actually hand the book to the spectator, and they can actually flip through the pages of the book, they can read through the book, and they will not notice anything out of the ordinary, making for a really cool prop that you can use that's also 100% examinable. That's the beauty of this. It uses some old techniques, but Zanman has updated them so that you can have the books actually be examined. Now, let's talk about how all three of these books work together to be able to do some pretty impossible mind reading. All three books allow you to know the first word of every page by peeking at the other books. So what do I mean by that? For example, let's just say uh, a spectator, you can have them choose any book that they want, right? So you can be like, pick a book, any book. And let's just say they choose Alice in Wonderland. You can have them stand 50 feet away from you and you will have another book and you'll ask the spectator, hey, can you do me a favor? I'm just gonna riffle through the pages. You say stop at any page that you, or you know, stop at any time that you like. They say stop and you say, okay, uh, are you happy with this page here? They say yes. And you say, go ahead and ask that spectator to open to that same page. They do so, and now, if you wanted to, you can actually read two people's minds at once. You can read the person's mind, the page that you stopped, and you can read the person's mind holding Alice in Wonderland without even going anywhere near that spectator. They can be standing behind you, they can be standing in, an, in another room, like it really doesn't matter. So that's the really beautiful thing uh, about these three books. So that's the secondary method. Uh, the third method, for Alice specifically is the hands-free method. The hands-free method is one of my favorite methods to perform. The method is just a lot of fun 
and um, it's a really good mind reading technique. Essentially what happens is you hand the spectator the book and you take a step back so you're not holding the book anymore at this point. You ask them to open to any page and you instantly know exactly which word they are thinking of. Now obviously there's a little bit uh, of a process that goes to it but it is nothing crazy. You only have to memorize uh, eight words and you will be able to do this every single time without even touching the book. That's the beautiful thing about it. And it isn't a force. You're not forcing a page. You're not riffling the pages. You literally just hand them the book. They open it. And the same with the other books. You can, you know, flip through the pages. They can read the pages. They're not going to find anything out of the ordinary. Uh, everything is 100% examinable. Now, I said that I was going to save The Call of the Wild for last. And that's because this book works with these three books, but it is different. So let me explain. The Call of the Wild does not work as a book test on its own. It's a bonus forcing book that allows you to force specific pages from these three books here. So in other words, with Call of the Wild, remember how I said earlier uh, with these books, you can riffle through the pages and uh, based on what page they stop, you know already the word in the other book, right? So with Call of the Wild, it's even more wild than that. So essentially what happens is you hand the book to the spectator and you have the spectator open to any page that they like and then you can have the other spectators open to the same page and you can instantly read their minds. So let's put this into a routine for you. Let's say you have three spectators come up from the audience and you hand them these three books. If you want, you can use the individual methods that we already have with these books. And then you can say, you know what? I want to try something a little bit different. I actually want to find a spectator from the audience that wants to be the magician's assistant. You're actually going to come up and you're going to do the magic with us. So the spectator comes up, you hand them Call of the Wild and you say, remember how I was riffling through the pages just like this and I had each spectator think of a word? I'm actually going to have you do that for me. I'm not even going to look. I'm going to stand all the way over here with my back facing you. I won't even be looking at what you're doing. That way it is impossible that I even peeked at anything. You have the spectator. Walk up to spectator number one that's holding Alice in Wonderland and you have that spectator, uh, the, the magician's assistant, holding the call of the wild and they can simply riffle through the pages till the spectator says stop and then the person holding call of the wild is going to open the book like this and they're going to say, open your book to the same page and then close the book. Then they walk over to the person holding the jungle book and they do the same thing. Jungle book person say, stop, stop right there. Open to the same page that I have here. They open that book to the same page. Then of course you go over to the person holding Peter Pan You receive the same process. Boom, boom. And the really cool thing is, is that all three spectators will be at different pages. You'll then have the magician's assistant join you up on stage as you have them maybe do some kind of fun antics, whatever clever, crazy things that you want to do to have them help you read the spectator's minds. You can write down on a big old, you know, poster board, the three words that they were looking at and thinking of. And then you have them each reveal their words and then you immediately turn over the poster boards and you can have, you know, the three words be revealed again, no fishing, no guessing. It, it does all of the work for you. All you have to do is just memorize the words. And again, it's nothing even crazy. So uh, for the bonus method in Alice, you have to memorize eight words. Uh, you don't have to memorize anything with Jungle Book. You don't have to memorize anything with Peter Pan. For Call of the Wild, you have to memorize six words. Uh, the words that you're going to force from these three books when you do this. So it's nothing crazy. It's super easy. And my favorite thing, again, using the original Zanman book test method, there is nothing to memorize. You don't have to write anything down. You don't have to do anything. You just flip through the pages. They say stop. You have them look at the first word on the page and you can instantly tell them exactly which word they're thinking of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the new Zanman book test series two set by Josh Zanman. You can find this, of course, at joshzanman.com. Uh, I also believe that this is going to be done through Murphy's, so you should also be able to pick it up at your, uh, your nearest magic retailer. Um, one quick note, too. 
about Alice in Wonderland. Um, this is actually an updated version of the original Alice book test that Josh Zaman put out last year. And um, the methods are all the same, but the words have been updated. The cover obviously has been updated. It's super beautiful. And uh, if you already own the other Alice book test and you wanna use it with these, it's not really gonna work. You're gonna have to buy the new updated book test because I said he completely redid the inside of the book as well as the outside but i mean who can deny that this is this is alice you know this is if i were to just go to barnes and noble and pick up a book it would look just like this that's the thing that i really love about these books is they all look you know they look completely ordinary jungle book beautiful call of the wild right it's just it's absolutely gorgeous peter pan and these are novels that you know like i said everyone is going to be familiar with Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look. My name is Michael O'Brien. I'll see you in the tutorials.